So when I've moved in here and it's a dead, dead space, I've been getting back into um, making like hip hop stuff and heavier drums. And so this is one that's like a, yeah, we've just been mucking around with that. Um, and there, these are quick beats too, but just no more sampling. Uh, even though I love sampling, it's just I'm trying to recreate my own samples in this in this instant. Um, so I think this is this is the Juno. The Juno, and then just drums and bass. So on this guy, I've done what I've done with the drums. Um, if I saw the drums. This um, Ari Tony was actually inside the, the the bass drum, and I've done treated it the same as how I showed you before, pretty much. And that's like because it's in the bass drum and it does have a good bass um, response. That microphone, it's a lot easier to get that sound out of it. Um, then I've got like the carbon, just going through this desk. Um, but on the way in, I've actually got which is see, there's nothing, there's no plugins there. So this is how it sounds on the way in. But what I've done on the way in is um, on the carbon. I generally have I've got this transient designer, so I've got like I've got it like set to a the frequencies that I want to pop out on the way in, and a compressor and a, um and an EQ. And I use this compressor a lot because I love it. Um, the Teletronics. Um, yeah, and that's that's part of the sound as well. And then I've got this electronic drum over here, um, drum synthesizer called the Simmons. See, all these things make a difference. Um, you don't you don't need all these things, but it's nice to have limitations. But all these things add up for the, for this drum sound in particular. Um, I've done another for you know a long a lot of time in hip like hip hop and kind of electronic beat music. Like the snares, often it's a short like it's a sample. So I've I've done the same treated the snare drum the same as I treated the. The bass drum, I've got an EQ there, and I've got a, um, a gate. And so if I get rid of that, you're going to hear the hi-hats. And then get rid of that uh, EQ, and it just sounds a tiny bit different. And what you want to do is, like, if you're adjusting, like, EQs, you can work with this the single, the single track itself, or you can... The best way to do it is like work with the single track itself, like solo it, isolate it, and then get like the gate right or, or, or whatever you're doing. But then you want to be able to EQ it with, with everything that's happening there and work out where you want the snare or anything to, to hit. Um, I don't think I have a, a group channel of the, the drums, but yeah, that was, a, that was a quick beat that I tried to um, do the other week, just make, making some... Pretty straight up hip hop stuff.